Hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon Shook, and today I'm thinking about talking about something just a little bit extra. Hey, hi, ho, and howdy, Huntsman Huntresses. It is a time... <coughs> Fucking nailed it. It is time for yet again another episode of Ruby Review Cap Extra, because I'm the worst! Um, this time we're going to be talking about uh, Volume 5, Chapter 7, uh, Rest and Resolutions, if I'm not mistaken. I literally just opened this episode to make sure that I knew what I was talking about, and you know what? It's correct. Rest of resolutions is in fact the case. What resolution was I looking at the video on? So, probably 144. Uh, is that correct? 144p because my internet is intershite. Um, anyway, in this episode, uh, there's actually not a ton to talk about because, like, 60% of the episode is just getting together the gang and just them talking and it, as it says, rest and resolutions, it's just them kind of chilling, uh, which is totally fine with me. Uh, I, I, I thought it was a really enjoyable seeing the characters interact with each other as long as they did. I just hit the fucking microphone. Shannon, you fucking hoe. Um, anyway, and in this episode, basically... Uh, the first half of it is all just them getting together, reminiscing, uh, telling each other of the adventures that they had. Weiss mentions how, uh, mentions, uh, the, the big fancy party that I talked about in the previous episode with Jacques and all of them, and how she went apeshit and with the Borba Tusk and whatnot. Um, uh, they, they mention about how, uh, the fight with the Nuklavi and all this stuff. Uh, and I, th I thought it was really cool getting to see everyone interact together. Um, a really fun interaction, of course, is again the uh, is the arm wrestling uh, competition between Yang and Nora. Uh, and it's you know it's it just it's it's a fun, cool time, especially since it shows off that Yang can just pop her arm off whenever she wants. It's kind of cool. Think of all the uses that has. Think of them. Um. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> You know, that's about the... F there isn't a ton to talk about. There's a lot of shit talking between everybody. A lot of just reminiscing. And, um... Ren in particular given a lot of... Think of how much we've grown. Okay, so actually, no, this... No. Okay, there's something we do have to talk about. And you might be saying, Shannon, Oh, are you gonna talk some shit about Ren too? And I'm like, no. I'm not. In fact, I'm gonna defend this motherfucker. Because this... The amount of people I've seen bitch and moan and complain... About how Ren... As a character... Like, I get the, the, the deep mean meme. It's funny. I get it. Like, I'll laugh at it. But when people take it seriously, it pisses me off. <laughs> the amount of people are like, Oh, I can't believe Rooster Teeth is so fucking low that they have to literally spell it all out for us. Oh, to think of how we've changed. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Should I don't remember how in a previous video we just talked about how we don't like to be negative? <laughs> Why are we being negative? It's just, it bothers me how much people went apeshit over the fact that Ren mentions, like, but to think of how we've grown. The fact that you you look at what you do, um, you did back then, and you're like, oh, that was silly. That was stupid. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny story. It just means you've grown as a person. And everyone, or at least a, a not insignificant group of people... Uh, from the fan base, we're all like, oh, I can't believe that, again, they, like, oh, I can't believe Rooster Teeth had to just, oh, way to be subtle, dudes, and I, as long, as well as quite a few other people are like, okay, do you ever think about the fact that sometimes people just go like, yeah, holy shit, think about the stuff we've done, man, that's fucking crazy, think about, think about all this, and it's just, it, I don't understand why some people have to bitch and moan and complain about fucking everything, just enjoy the fucking show, and acknowledge that sometimes people just fucking reminisce. Yeah, fuck that character for talking about it. Like, hey, guys, you ever think about how fucking crazy it is that we're we're doing the things that we do, that we went through the shit that we did, the fact that we're fucking alive right now, the fact that you're not a 
fucking evil whiny bitch all the time and like you're not just a complete and utter fucking doofus who gets her arm cut off the fact that Okay, Nora's still Nora. That's a terrible example. Um, the fact that Jean's not a fucking noodle boy, at least nearly as much as he used to be, is like, I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I don't get this fucking fan base. If you don't like the show, why do you watch it? Um, <laughs> just let us love this thing. <laughs> oh, that's maddening. Oh, that's maddening. Um, anyway. You know, that's, that's basically the full extent. It's a lot of reminiscing, and I think it's really cool. Um, the only the only thing I will complain about in this episode is the fact that Crow apparently doesn't realize that children are fucking animals. How much noise can six children pass? You just said the you just said the number six. I live with two children, and they're ridiculous. And you thought six was gonna be just chill? What's wrong with you, Crow? You couldn't have gotten so drunk that you forgot how fucked up children are. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> I applaud his, his optimism. He thought he wasn't going to have to be like, Shut the fuck up, you little bastards. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Basically, yeah. So they're all talking and Crow comes in and basically brings Oscar in there. And it basically comes up like, Eh, hey, yeah, no, we all need to have a fucking discussion. And that moves on to kind of the second half of the episode I'd say which is really just Oscar uh, filling um, Yang and Weiss specifically in on the whole yeah the maidens and all of that thing these things that your mom said was true things like that um, and it goes on for a bit uh, Yang specifically tends to show off that she's not a hundred percent on board um, with the whole Oz lying constantly and hiding shit from people constantly. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there, there's, a, there's a decent amount of, um, of, uh, unease between Yang, uh, <laughs> and Oz, and uh, Ozpin, and Jean and Ozpin as well, which comes up with the whole, like, um, <clears throat> what else is new that he dropped? That was way too fucking deep for Jean. Um, what else is new? That's way too high for Jean. God damn it, there is no middle ground for me. Um, basically, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, some distrust between the, the whole gang there, uh, to the point where she ends up calling him out and being like, okay, so what about the whole turning people into birds thing? That's pretty fucked up, don't you think? Uh, and basically, Oz goes on to explain two really big things. Number one, uh, he's like, yeah, I had magic, and I did this, and I thought it was a good idea. I had some fucking eyes. I could do this. Uh, which doesn't fucking ease Raven at all, even though Crow gives the whole, like, yeah, no, this is, this is okay. This is not fucked. I said this was okay. I don't know why your mother's going ape shit about it. Your mother's fucking weird. Um, <clears throat> you know, basically... He gives the okay on it, but um, there's still a lot of distrust there. But the other thing we actually learn about the thing, which we don't say we learn, it's something that was pretty obvious, I would say. It's definitely something people were like, oh, bet you like 900 goddamn dollars that that's what's about to happen. Um, and that's the whole of uh, the fact that Oz, 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 Ozpin, it's fucking me up, but there's two of them. Um, <clears throat> that Ozpin basically mentions yeah yeah i'm i'm the wizard from the story i'm the one who made the maidens that was me yeah um yeah <laughs> and he basically says yeah no so i had some extra magic left over and i was like let's give it to these two let them turn into birds that could be useful for us um and basically it all ends up with um Everybody, Yang very specifically, reluctantly being okay with things on the condition that Ozpin stops not telling people shit and stops lying and stops being like, oh, well, here's half of the story. Um, and he, he agrees to it, which is almost certainly a fucking lie. <sighs> Ozpin, <laughs> can you not? <laughs> For like... Five minutes. Can you just, can you just, can you just pull your head out of your ass, dude? Just, 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 come on. 
you're gonna hurt so much more people than you're gonna help with your fucking lies, man. Um, and basically, that's kind of the the whole the whole of the episode is that is the is the interaction between everybody reminiscing and that interaction mainly between Yang in particular and Ozpin with the reveal of those things there. Um, of course, there is one of the greatest lines in all of Ruby now, which is Nora's exclamation that she fucking knew it. You know, so that's the main thing, except for the very, very end of the episode, the, the stinger, if you would. Is that it? Is that what that would be called? Would that be a stinger? It probably wouldn't be, but you know what? We're going to call it that anyway, because it sounds cooler than it really is. Um, and that's basically, uh, we see Toothless McFuckface again, um, chilling outside of uh, the band and camp going like... Oh, woe is me, just another day being an idiot. And, um, while he's sitting there, he, he gets he gets interrupted by the sound of an unirkable Merkable. Um, and that's, he looks over and sees Mercury and Emerald show, scrolling up. And, of course, he's like, hey, y'all, I, I have had a doozy of a day. These college kids keep killing themselves all over my prop. Fuck, I need to watch that movie again. Um, <laughs> it's a good movie. Um, uh, but, you know, basically, he he's like, nah, I'm not having any of this. And that's when Cinder and Watts show up, to which his expression goes from, I ain't having any of this, to... I'm about to die, aren't I? I'm about I'm about to die because Cinder's like, oh yeah, no, fucking kill him. I don't like, just show him, show show him how it do. Uh, we're 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 here now, we're we're here to play. Not these games, but we're here to play for sure. Um, and it basically ends with Emerald going beat his ass. Um, so you know, it I, it's a it's a good episode. It's a it's a very honestly uneventful episode. You can count the amount of things that actually happen on, like, two fingers. <laughs> that being said, it's still a really enjoyable episode. And for purely just character interaction, it's a great episode. It's really enjoyable seeing everybody get back together again and relax and enjoy and take a fucking breather. Lord knows everyone's been through th through this shit for a while now. Um, so, you know, it's, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, it was, it's, it's also it's nice seeing Emerald and Mercury back again. And look... They're talking. That's that's been a while. Also, Mercury shaved his fucking eyebrows. Thank God, the man had uh, goddamn urses on his fucking face. <laughs> and in Volume Three, it's good to see him a little more toned down. Um, you know, it's it's good. I, I enjoyed the episode. Um, just wasn't there. Just wasn't too much to talk about. Um, yet I still managed to talk for thirteen fucking minutes on it. God damn it, Shannon. Um. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video at all, if you guys enjoyed the things that I talked about, anything like that, go ahead and drop a like on the thing. If you'd like to see more of it, do that, like I, like I said. Um, also, subscribe, because that means you can stick around easily to see stuff. I hear there's a little bell that you can click and ring that makes sure that you know that it's happening, which I should probably start telling people to do. Because, Lord knows, I'm doing well on YouTube. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but you know it's it's good because uh, lemons. Um, anyway, you know, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, like if you think what I'm doing here is okay. Again, sorry, it's not a regular review cap episode. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more review cap episodes for this fucking volume. I don't. There's literally only one episode left at the time of recording this. <laughs> I don't think it's very fucking likely. <laughs> But god damn it, volume six, I'll fucking do it. Uh, but anyway, if you guys did like it, uh, if you, you there, if there's things you wanted to add, you think I missed, you thought I, I whatever, uh, go ahead and double it. Not what you don't hit what? Um, talk down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think about it, about the episode, about this, about whatever. I do really appreciate it, and of course, share it. You sharing it off to people lets people see it. If people see it, potentially good things can come from that. 
because at least someone watches the fucking thing. Um, so anyway, you know, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video where we are talking about episode eight. Together Alone. Oh, I like this episode. That's a good episode. Let's talk about that episode. I can't wait. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next episode. Tools, do's, and lemons. <sighs> Sorry. Hubba bye.